What goes on guys, we're back here again with yet another review and today we're going to be taking a look at some brand new DC Multiverse figures by McFarlane Toys. We're going to be taking a look at the brand new gold label uh, Flashpoint Flash, which is really just like a regular Flash. I'm very excited to be taking a look at him and then we're going to be taking a look at not one, but two Blue Beetles. We're going to be taking a look at both of the movie figures because I couldn't decide on which one I wanted better. And I had 20% off at Target. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these boxes real quick. Starting off with Jaime. As you can see, uh, they're just stills from like, uh, I would like call that like concept art for the movie, which... If you told me that that was for a comic book, like that some artist drew Blue Beetle like that for a book, I would totally believe you. That artwork is amazing as a comic book Blue Beetle. And I mean, I just think his design in general looks fantastic for a comic book Jaime. So, you know, like I said, if you showed me that this was from a comic book, I'd believe you. So here you go with the barcode. This is just, this says Blue Beetle. And then this one says blue beetle battle mode so yeah I, I i don't know i guess wings mean battle mode and then here is the flash box as you can see pretty much exactly what we'd expect nothing crazy on the back just a picture of the build a figure cyborg and then there's the barcode for that but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and open these guys up because i'm pretty excited to play with all of them so getting everyone out of the packaging i gotta say these are pretty cool Two of them are very, very cool, and one could have been better, but I'm still happy. I'm sure you could guess which is which. So we're going to start off with the Flash, because I do like the Blue Beetles better, and there's just kind of less to talk about with the Flash. Um, I just kind of threw him in here because I found him before I started recording the Jaime review, but uh, taking a look at the masked head sculpt, which he does not come with on in the package. He comes on with the unmasked head. I do like it. I think I like the other flash head better, so I might see if I could do a head swap. But uh, it looks good. I like the the arrows. The eyes look a little off center, so they look a little weird. The, I think the wrinkles on the forehead are what's doing the weirdness for me. It makes them look old. And then this is a reused body of like the Blue Beetle comic, Blue Beetle and um, Booster Gold, which is okay except for two things. I really like the legs, and they did give him new boots, which is very nice. They look good. But I hate these wrists. I think they are way too small and spindly and just look weird unless they're in the one position they were sculpted to be in. I don't like that. I think the chest is a little small, um, so I'm not huge on that. But, I mean, a lot of it is posing, too. you got to bring the shoulders up. And then, like, that looks pretty good. Like, I'm not going to lie, it looks pretty good. But then we just get a reuse of Booster Gold's fist or lack of fist. We get the stupid trigger finger hand. Why? Flash does not need a trigger finger hand. Running hands and fist hands. So I am definitely going to get my old Flash and see if I can pop off this set of hands and put that set of hands on them. I don't know if it's going to be able to do that, but I really hope so because that... That is my biggest action figure pet peeve is when a figure doesn't come with a pair of matching hands. This, especially open hands that nothing to grip. That really bugs me. It bugs me so much that I almost considered not getting this figure. But the Flash, you want a good looking Flash on the shelf. So, in terms of accessories, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Come on, Barry. Stand up. These ankles are super ratchety, which we'll talk about in a second. Of course, you're going to get the stupid stand. You're going to get the trading card with Flashpoint art on there. And then you can uh, get the read up on the back there. And then he does come with an alternate head and a little piece for it. So you put, slip on this cowl piece, which is cool. I do like that. And then you slip on the unmasked head, which I go back and forth as if I like it or not. It's okay. I'm never going to use it. So maybe I can give that to somebody else. Kind of looks like Captain America. That wouldn't be a bad cap head. But I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. For me, it's the masked head all the way. Which, oddly enough, it was molded in yellow. Was not expecting that. But taking a look at the articulation, you'd probably expect everything. The head looks up, down, not really. Pivot side to side and rotate. The shoulders go up, down, rotate. And then you get that cap in there. That adds a little bit of movement. Pretty good. 
rotate at the bicep and then these kind of ugly double jointed elbows and then you get this really spindly wrist that really makes me anxious that it's going to break because it is such a small joint i hate it you do get a little bit of crunch forward a little bit of arc back pivot side to side rotate at the top and the bottom this is pretty good movement i i, I do i do like this setup and plus it's not all detailed out to the teeth like how McFarlane usually does. It's just a plain, simple mold. So even if it's not the best, I'm, I'm happy with that aspect of it. Kick forward, back. You do get a little bit of a thigh rotation in there, which is nice. Double jointed kneesers. No boot rotation. You do get a rotation at the ankle. It'll go down, up, super clicky. Definitely be careful with them. And then great pivot and a little toe joint, which actually is sculpted pretty good. So, um, so of course, the question is, can you get them in a good running pose? And if you're me, then probably, because I'm good as hell at it. But um, in all honesty, it's going to be okay. It's really going to be the angle of how you take the photo. Like, I usually like to pivot them on that leg and then kind of have them go down. But... It's okay. It would look so much better with a full set of fist hands, maybe an open hand. So hopefully those hands are interchangeable because this bugs the nuts off of me. Not a huge fan of that, but um, the rest of the figure is okay. I didn't even mention the emblem is not sculpted, which kind of sucks, but eh, it's okay. I would also like to mention that he comes with the legs for Cyborg. Cyborg is going to be a big boy. He's going to get his own video, but I just wanted to mention that he does come with the legs. One more figure to go. Okay, so now we're going to jump into the Blue Beetle conundrum. Which figure should you get? Should you get the winged version or the non-winged version, the sword version, we'll call it, right? For me, I think there's a definitive answer, and I'm going to tell you why. I think you should go ahead and get the winged one. Now, here's why I think so. What you get with the winged one, well, first off, let's go ahead and just start with a really good look at this sculpt and paint. Now, these, for the most part, are going to be identical, except for two things, which I will show. The first one, or, like, just taking a look at them, he's got that marbly plastic that actually works beautiful here. That, here, that metallic blue paint is amazing. You do get some paint on here. There is lighter blue on his chest, and then the sculpted armory parts look so good they did like a little silver dry brush over them the legs carry that blue paint as well they even painted that little bit on the joint back there very nice work mcfarlane the scarab looks fantastic on his back you do get it on his spine i just saw the trailer where like they, they were like i'm gonna throw up that was pretty funny so oh by the way i don't know if i mentioned this is totally good for a comic book shelf. The DC icons one i have that figure but i am looking to sell it if anybody's interested um but because this is just so much better and works better in McFarlane scale and it just is a better figure in my opinion i know i'm gonna get a lot of flag shit for that but i think this is a better figure um he looks great i love the proportions because he looks like a kid but he still look he still looks heroic i love it i really really like it you get a little bit of paint on the eyes too very good looking figure in fact it may be one of McFarlane's best I think this is a common consensus at this point because I've, I've heard a lot of people really like this and I can see why. It is fan-freaking-tastic. So maybe even top 10 of the year. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to put myself in that box right now. But um, yeah, let's take a look at the difference. The first thing is obviously going to be the accessories. So starting off with wing boy accessories and i know for a fact that this is the winged one i did not mix them up i left the fists on there so you're gonna get a bunch of hands with wing boy which is pretty cool i feel like i'm missing a hand i was all right so you're gonna get a right pointer finger a right splayed out hand i love that then you're gonna get a left thumbs up hand and a left peace sign hand now personally I think it would have been really nice as if the sword version came with the matching set so we could get like full set of um, thumbs up, full set of splayed, peace signs, all that good stuff. I would have really liked that. Unfortunately, we don't. And he also comes with a pair of fist hands, which I love, and they look super good on him. He does come with the card. Oops. I believe that they're going to be the same. Yeah, so the same... Um, 
read up on the back, so don't worry about that. Card, whatever. And then you're going to get the figure stand with both of them. Now, the winged version also, believe it or not, comes with the wings. And they look fantastic. It's like this nice translucent plastic with some frosty paint over it. <sighs> Looks pretty awesome. So, that's that. Now, our non-winged version, you're just going to get a pair of grip hands. The rest of the figure is exactly the same, except for one thing, which we will get to that. He does come with his own trading card. There you go. Same read up, all that. You get these little disc things. I don't know what they really are. They're kind of, they remind me of like Nakia's um, wrist blade things or like, I don't know, like gauntlets, I guess. He can hold them okay. I don't think it's like super cool in my opinion. I think these weapons, even when Nak Nakia uses them pretty well, but I kind of feel like these are like, really pointless weapons i don't know i don't know what they're called if you know what they're called let a brother know but um he comes with them so there you go if you like those but then he also comes with the sword that you do see in the trailer i like the way that they did this it's like black paint with metallic blue paint over it though i do kind of wish it was an interchangeable hand and not uh like a sword that he actually holds i don't know if that's accurate or not to be honest so maybe i'm talking out of my ass but I guess it goes this way, but he he doesn't really hold it well. That's why I kind of just wish it was an interchangeable hand. Unless I'm doing it wrong, maybe he needs to put his finger. I, I don't know, but I got to admit, not the biggest fan of the sword. It looks cool, but it just, I don't know. I think it could have been done better because I do think it's supposed to go this way, but he does not hold it well. Maybe he holds it well in this hand. Okay. He holds it a little better in this hand, but the wrist is way too loose to hold it. So you're going to have to angle your photo right. So not the biggest fan of that. But what I am a big fan of is the cannon. This is a staple for Jaime Reyes. And this looks great. It's just molded in that metallic blue paint. But you pop off the hand and then you plug. Or actually, I think it's actually, yeah, it is. It actually plugs into his arm. I don't know where. I think like this. Yes. Oh, ho, ho, my boy, I may looking good. Oh, shit. This is the first time I'm seeing it with him on, with it on him. Oh, man. That looks great. Now, the only other difference in these two figures is that their scarab is different. So, let's pop on... Let's give him a thumbs up hand. Why not? Okay. Give him a nice thumbs up hand. The only difference, which I was surprised, the winged one comes with a backpack or scarab that actually pops off, right? So you can attach the wings like this, loop this on here, loop this on here, and then pop this on his back again. There we go. And then you get a little bit of movement on them. But, oh, man, that looks super good as well. I love these on there. That is awesome. But this one does not do that. They are different backs, which is very surprising. So you have to really pick your poison. Do you want cannon or wings? Or are you going to be a psychopath like me and get both? Because I do have to see this. Because this arm does pop off. And then... Pop that. Oh, man. Now that is Jaime Reyes. Oh, I can do the splayed out hand. Hell yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> that looks great, in my opinion. Holy shit. Maybe. Nah, this is probably going to be top 10 of the year for me. Despite the movie. I'm a huge Jaime Reyes fan. Blue Beetle is one of my favorite characters from DC, um, and I absolutely love this. So this looks great. It just really sucks that you got to get two. I kind of just wish that they did like a $30 price point and gave you everything. That would have been really cool, but include like a full set of hands. But 
I don't know. I think it's it bothers some people more than it bothers me. It doesn't bother me that much because this figure is really nice. So taking a look at articulation with everything going on, the head is going to look up. It'll go down. It'll pivot side to side and rotate. Shoulders go up to about there. Kind of wish they would go up a little bit more. And then they will rotate 360 without the wings. The wings will do that. Pivot or bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and then the wrist swivel and hinge. You get a pretty good diaphragm joint on this guy, at least by McFarlane standards. He will crunch a little bit forward, back, pivot side to side is great, and then rotate at the top and the bottom, so no real problem moving around. He'll kick forward, back, no real thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and then the ankles go up, down, swivel, pivot, and a really good toe hinge. So I'm I'm actually I I opened up the wing one when I got them because I couldn't wait because I, I couldn't record immediately and I, I couldn't wait and I just can't get over how fun this figure is to pose around which is not something I often say for McFarland figures usually I lean more toward the aesthetic for them but Jaime is one of the perfect examples of a culmination of both which again is rare by McFarland standards in terms of scaling for these guys they're okay I do wish Jaime was a little bit smaller, but unfortunately he's a, he's pretty tall. You do get them next to Silly Kong and Peely. And then here they are next to your Darwin and then Batman, which he's a little bit shorter. I, I, I do wish he was a tad bit shorter, unfortunately. And then of course you get Zombie Cap here in the middle with them. These are seven inch scale figures, so they're gonna be a little bit bigger. But yeah, I do think Jaime is a little tall, even for a movie figure. like. He's a kid. He should be a little bit shorter, but unfortunately, he's not. So you guys are probably wondering, Yo, what are your final thoughts on these figures? And I got to say, guys, I'm pretty happy with one. The other one is okay, but man, Blue Beetle is freaking awesome. I personally am pretty excited for this movie. I, again, like I said, I'm a pretty high, big Jaime Reyes fan. Um, I, I think he's a great character. I love him from Inju or, uh, Young Justice and... I just think he's got a great design. He's very, very cool. So I, I knew that I was going to be happy when he got his movie. But unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's going to do very well. So go support it, you know, if you can, you know, all things willing. Um, but I think this figure is beautiful. Now, I do have to say it is kind of shitty that you got to get two figures to get this look here. I mean, I really... He needs to have the cannon, right? But he needs to also have wings. It's just like, oh, damn. But I still think it's worth it. And then... And as for Flash, for Barry over here, he's okay. He's a reused mold. I really, really hate the hands and wrists, and it honestly takes a big fun factor away from the figure for me, so hopefully I can change that. But other than that, it's pretty okay. Plus, I am really interested in this cyborg bath. I hate when I want the bath, and Barry's the only figure out of the, the series that I'm actually going to keep as Barry this so far so which that kind of sucks but anyway i'm rambling at this point at a price point of 20 bucks a piece well really actually let me let me adjust that the blue beetle figures are actually 22.99 at least they are at target so they are a little bit more pricey but i think they do or i think either one of them is worth it in my opinion for 22.99 um still cheaper than the marvel legends and then um flash is $24.99 because of the bath pieces so at those price points i'm gonna go ahead and give flash a 7 out of 10 he's okay he's maybe better than the last one i don't know it's really just a basis of what look you like for him better i happen to like this look better for him it's just they didn't do it as well um but i'm gonna give blue beetle a 10 out of 10 like either one i think you'll be happy with I really do. So at those price points, that's be I believe that's all I got for today. So if you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Ugh, excuse me. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there and I have a lot of fun. So I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? And are you going to go see the movie? Let me know. See you guys in the next one. Peace.